because the soil is really saturated, you still got to kind of be uh, one of those days where you have your head on a swivel if you have those dead trees in your yard. But the cloudiness is thinning out. We're already starting to see almost full sunshine in our northwest Alabama counties. The temperatures are dropping steadily. The Arctic blast over the Midwest, over the snowpack, that's going to dive southward. So I know you say it's already cold. Well, more cold is going to follow up with, with more cold. That's because it's winter, but finally not seeing anything on the WBTM 13 live Doppler, but we do have winter radar mode. So if any of the precipitation does start to take a turn, we'll track it in real time. It's 36 northwest wind at 13 miles per hour that has you feeling like 28, and that's pretty much the song we're going to be singing in your seven day forecast. I'll highlight a couple of things for you. One in particular, how we continue to see more cold air. That high pressure ridge will surge south out of Canada and that's just round one tonight and into Monday morning. There's 7 a.m. on Monday. You'll see a little bit more cloudiness into Monday night heading into the Tennessee Valley, and that's when our second shot of cold air arrives for your Tuesday. And so Monday, MLK Day Monday, any kind of observance ceremonies that you're going to be attending early in the morning, it will be bitter cold and there's going to be a pretty sharp wind chill factor, but we are talking about full sunshine. On Tuesday, this is going to be tricky. After a holiday weekend, getting the kiddos out of the bus stop, 7 a.m., 24 degrees will be your temperature at 7 a.m. It'll feel like 15. Rain chances return by the end of the week, and that's when the temperatures come back up. I like that combo, right? Stay right here. We're going to be keeping tabs on the weather forecast for you all morning.